Creating Sales Skill Activity Books in Affinity Designer. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and it's with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today I'm actually going to teach you how to create these scissor skill books in Activity Designer. I've already created one showing you how to do it in PowerPoint and the card will be at the top. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I received an email from Barb who actually said she would like to learn how to do scissor skills in uh, Affinity Designer. So this is the reason why I'm actually showing you. It's also because Affinity Designer is a professional tool. Well, the whole suite of Affinity is, and at the moment there is a 50% off on all the different suites. So, you know, Affinity Designer is $23.99. Affinity Fo uh, Photo is also $23.99 and Affinity Publisher is again $23.99. Now these are UK prices, but it's the same anywhere else. They will be 50% off so you can get the whole professional suite for far less than what you would be paying for Adobe. In fact, one of those is less than the monthly fee that you would be paying for Adobe and they're just as good and a full professional suite if that's the way you want to go. But we already know that scissor skill books are very popular. Also creating scissor skill printables again are also popular, which you can sell on your own site or on Etsy or Teacher Pay Teacher or uh, Shopify or Groovecart, any of those. So you can be selling those. And as we can see, they look nice and cute and you can find different pictures. So what I've already done is I've gone to Creative Fabrica and I've actually selected these cute gnomes to show you all the different ways of doing it. Now, if you can get hold of SVGs or EPSs, it's a lot easier because it's just a simple thing. Uh, you can also do it with PNGs and JPEGs. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to do that for both. Okay, so this is Affinity Designer. And first thing first, I am actually going to create a new document. If you go on to print, you will actually see some of these are set out and I want letter eight and a half by 11. If there isn't the size that you want, all you need to do is change it here, making sure that you change your document units into inches so that you can be working with that. So I've got that. I've also changed it to 300 DPI. Always make sure it's at minimum 300 DPI. So I'm going to click create. So I've got this file so I can either use the EPS or I can go in and use the JPEGs, PNGs or the SVGs. Now I love SVGs because you can do all sorts of things with them but again SVGs not all of them are equal so if you've got an SVG that's not working very well hope to get the EPS but again you can also do different things. So I'm going to show you how to do all that. So I'm going to go into the SVG and I just I wanted the coffee mug this one here. So I'm just going to drag it on and because I've dragged it on, I need to resize it. So I'm just going to click off it and then I'm going to use my uh, keyboard tools, which is command or control. And then I'm just going to press the minus sign down so I can actually see the screen what I'm doing and click on it again and then just and I will resize it. I have resized it. I'll bring the screen back up so you can actually see what I'm going to do. So I'm quite happy with that. Now, the reason why I wanted the SVG is because I can double click on here and I can actually go inside and I can actually see all the different things that I need to work with. Now, this layer here deals with the whole outside. I'm actually going to copy that. So I can either do command C and then Command V or Control C and Control V, or I can actually drag it down here and drag it on top of the add layer, which makes a copy. So if I do that, it's made a nice copy for me. And what I can do to make sure I can see the difference is I can actually change the fill and the stroke to white to start with, just so I can see what I'm doing. And I can do the same here. And all I'm doing is just dragging it all the way across so that it changes everything to white. So you can actually see the mug there is white. Then I'm going to click on this funny contour one here. I'm going to click here and then I'm going to start dragging. And what I want to do is I actually want to go out. So I'm actually going to drag in and it's making it go as far as I want or as near as I want. And as we can see, that is out there. 
So now I'm going to go into stroke and I'm going to change that back to black. And I'm going to click on that line there, that stroke there. And I'm going to change that to a dash line and I'm going to make it bigger so I can actually see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go back down here to where it's dash and I'm probably going to make it about five. And then I'm going to make this a three. So it's got just a difference there. And I'm also going to make the cap rounded so that it just looks a bit more neater. So that is actually the outline done. And what I can do here, I can click on this one and just recolor it so that it is white. So I'm not paying for that. And here I can take the fill as well and actually take the fill off. So it's transparent. So I'm quite happy with that. And if I didn't want this here, this part, and I wanted to get rid of it, all I would do is right click on here and raticize that. And then I would go into the uh, pixel persona because I was working on the vector persona, click on rubber, and then I would resize my rubber so I could actually work with it a bit better. And then I would just simply rub that bit out so that they're just cutting around that. And then just simply click off that embed tool there, and it's brought me back to my um, SVG. So that is the simplest way of doing it. Now, if you haven't got SVGs, I will show you how to do it with a PNG. So again, I'm going to go into letter. So from print letter, click continue. And then I'm just going to drag on a PNG image. So I want something with a bit more. I love this cake. I'll just drag it on there. Now the problem is we need to actually get rid of the colors as well. So we'll do that first. So if you've got this, right click on it, raticize it, then go into pixel persona. And then I want the magic one tool, which is here, or the flood select tool as it's called here. Click on it or click on any area I want and I can change the tolerance if it's not right, it's not filling up. And then I just click press delete on your keyboard and it gets rid of all the bits of colors that I don't want. Oops. And so we've pretty much selected all the black, which I don't want. There we go. There we go. And then the last bit here, where there's a bit here. There we go. So that is done. Now I'm going to go back in to get rid of the running ants. I just click press command D on my keyboard. And then I'm going to go to the designer persona. And then from here, I'm actually going to use this pen tool here. And I can again set my stroke. I can click where it says none again. I can do dashed. I can do it go up a bit. And again, I can do six and maybe three here. And then I also want to make sure I'm on the rounder. So pen tool selected. I'm going to just start drawing around everywhere. And I might change some things. So all I'm doing is just dragging the circle around. So these are quite big. So like I said, I might just change it from six. Just turn it round again. There we go. Go back to the stroke. Do sit down from ten. About two and a half. And that is doing it with PNGs and JPEGs. You can also do it with doing that. The final part. Now some SVGs 
have some double extra lines in them. So I'm actually going to show you how to deal with that. So again, I'm going to go File, New. I'm going to select Letter again and Create. And then I am going to select this Unicorn SVG. And again, I'm just going to click off that. Command minus, so I can see what I'm doing, or Control minus if you're on a Windows machine. And then I'm just going to resize it. I'm going to resize it quite small. And then I'm going to up again. And then I'm going to go onto my layer and I'm going to double click again so I can go into embed. I'm actually going to select all of these as well by clicking on them, pressing shift. And I'm going to resize it again because I actually want to fit everything on here. Now, when you've done everything, you can actually resize it all. Then I'm going to select the final layer because these two layers here is the nose and the eye. So I just want the bottom layer. I'm going to copy it again by dragging it onto that layer there. Or I could have gone uh, Command C and Command V or Control C and Control V. I'm going to click on the bottom one there. I'm going to click on the Contour tool again. So if you just click over it, it'll tell you that. The fill, I actually, I'm going to do non stroke. I'm going to make that black. And then I'm going to change this here to dashed, drag it out a bit. But on the contour, I need to actually drag this out. So dragging it out, you can actually see. I can get rid of some of it, but not all of it. But that's not a problem. So I want to bring it in a bit more. I can do that. But I'm going to go back into my dashed. I'm going to change that to either six or five, and then three, and then that should do that and make it rounded as well. So I can bring down my points. It's still a bit thick. Um, just drag a little bit more there. I might go back in, change that to five, so that improves it, that improved it. So quite happy with that. Then if I just click off, you can actually see that I've got these extra lines here that I don't want. So all I do is go on the bottom one again, I right click and I'm going to raticize and then I'm going to go into the pixel persona, I'm going to go into the eraser tool making sure it's big enough so I can actually do that. I'm going to zoom in so I can actually see what I'm doing. And then I just basically rub out all the extra in lines that I don't want. Being careful that I don't rub any of the outside ones, which I do want to keep. That's there. This one little bit there, and this little bit here. So that is that, and then I can come out of the embed tool there, and then just click back in title, and I can make it bigger if I want. And that is my unicorn done as well with an SVG and it had like a double line for some reason. So if you see any SVGs with double line, that is how you do it. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the little B above my head uh, to subscribe to the channel and be notified about any other videos I make. While you're here, don't forget to check out my videos on niche ideas and finding your keywords.